This is Kinorm Bonuma and BIM Storm Enlighten. This session is on SketchUp from Program to BIM. In previous sessions, we auto-generated these three spaces from the Program to BIM database or SEPS to BIM data directly from an owner's database with spaces and equipment. These are just three spaces, but you can generate hundreds if you need. Today, we're going to take them out into SketchUp. On the lower left, there's a plugins button where you can actually find plugins and if you scroll down you see the SketchUp plugin that was developed jointly by Onuma and Trimble and the 3D Warehouse link. If you go to the 3D Warehouse you will see all the what's called the 1691 medical equipment library that is used by the space and equipment planning system. So there's close to a thousand objects here you can obviously uh, start a SketchUp model and download the ones you want but the SketchUp process has a unique part to it that auto grabs the objects from the online library and places them into the model. So let's go back to the program to BIM model here and select the SketchUp BIM XML. This will generate a BIM XML file from SketchUp. Let's save that here. Then we'll go into SketchUp. We've installed the plugin. If you go to File, Import, select the same file that we just generated import and what this is doing is it's actually going out to the um, first of all it's taking the XML data that came from program to BIM that has the geometry of the room and the size and the location of equipment but the equipment is actually being downloaded on the fly from the 3D warehouse so it's getting the latest equipment and placing it in the right location that a few minutes ago was generated from the owner's program requirements and in their database. So this is in alignment with what the program requirements are from the owner and the designer can then continue to use SketchUp just like, like you would in Revit or ARCHICAD or other BIM applications and study the room dimensions and the layout. This takes a few minutes especially since it is downloading it from the web but it would take a lot longer if you're doing this manually. Once it's completed you can actually rotate and look at the objects and the objects are not only geometry they actually have the attributes that originated from the owner's uh, database as well so if you opened up the individual objects they would be there and you can continue to edit this process saves hundreds of hours if you're doing a lot of spaces like that for room, room data sheets and is in alignment with the current owner requirements that came from program to BIM or SEPS to BIM and would be in alignment with the same objects that originated in uh, other um, system, other other BIM applications. So if you're using this in Revit, it would be the exact same data.